Hello guys, it's Joker Creations here and I'm just going to show you how to make the glass effect that I used in my background and that Windows 7 use. Okay, so first we need to grab our shape. I'm going to use a rounded rectangle. Um, and if we raticize that, then double click on it to go to blending options give it a stroke of one pixel size and color white then change the fill to zero that will give us our outline next we need to make a new layer click on the rectangle or whatever shape you're using again go to this one tool magic wand up here you get it by pressing W apparently click in the middle of the shape which will select that area then when we click on our new layer we go to the gradient tool over here making sure our foreground colour is white then up here you should check this one which goes into the checkers which means there's nothing there then you just make whatever gradient that's too much you think looks good so what you do by clicking and dragging into the rectangle Ooh, I'm on the wrong bit there like so I'm going to do mine all the way around like this then you can press Control D to deselect and now we're going to make a new layer go to the pen tool over here you can get by pressing B and click slightly out and in the middle roughly right about there then click just above that right over here make the sort of curve you think looks good and then press ALT and click on that square and then just join the two together and then when they're joined together right click on the line with your pen tool and click make selection and just click OK and with your new layer go back to the gradient tool all the same settings and just drag upwards maybe one more time like that deselect and go back to the rectangle tool press W for your wand tool and click on the inside again and click control shift and I to invert it then go back to the your second layer or whatever layer this shining bit is and click delete and that will trim it up and I tend to make it a soft light normally but you can do whatever you want you can make it a just keep it as normal and just change the opacity down that looks good actually and that's all you have to do. So if I put this in a group and then if I get another shape uh, like this for example and obviously the colour can't be white or else it won't make any difference. Just give it a gradient overlay not a terribly good one, but just a gradient <coughs> make sure it's underneath the glass bit so you can see the glass is see-through, like glass and it's got that shine to it I'll show you what I did for mine This is what I used 
the glass effect for on my background. If you go onto my channel, you will have to see. I mean, these it looks like it's cutting off here. It's actually not. It's just because the pixels outside. Let's see. That's what it looks like, and it's very clean and clear. Okay, so that concludes the end of the tutorial. Please like, or possibly if you like it that much, subscribe. And bye guys.